Ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize really quick before we start the episode for Metroid Prime. Um, when I was editing this video, I realized that there was something seriously wrong with the audio. Uh, unfortunately, the gain, apparently, when I was recording this audio, which gain is essentially just volume, you know, loudness, was all the way up, which means that whenever my voice reaches a certain frequency, the audio gets extremely distorted. So, near some of the parts in the audio where I get really, really loud, you're probably going to notice a little bit of, like, cracking, a little bit of, like, static kind of sound. Um, I tried to do everything that I could to fix it, and I did the best that I could. Unfortunately, technology can only do so much, and there was no way I was going to be able to re-record the audio again. So, unfortunately, guys, you're going to have to deal with the kind of poor audio. I tried to do the best that I could. I apologize. It's not super terrible, but it was a lot worse before. Anyway, guys, I want to apologize again for that. I hope this doesn't ruin the video. Um, future videos will not have this problem. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, let's just go ahead and jump into the next episode for Metroid Prime. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good afternoon, my name is Volans, and welcome back to Metroid Prime. In the last episode, which was actually a while ago for me when I started record or when I recorded that episode, we uh, finally got out of the Space Pirate Research Facility here on Fendrana Drifts, and we acquired the Thermovisor. So now, we can do this. In this episode, I said that we were going to get the Ice Beam, and then you saw that nope.avi thing pop up on your screen uh yeah it's not the ice beam i realized that after i started to exp or not export it after i started to edit the video i realized uh the ice beam is not the next thing that we're gonna get unfortunately what we gotta do is we gotta fight one big boss in order to acquire the um spider 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 ball? No. Yeah, spider ball. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe I couldn't remember that for a minute. We're going to go ahead and acquire the spider ball so that we can go on to magnetic rails. So you're probably seeing this door and probably thinking, why isn't it lit up? Did I shoot it already? Well, no, actually, the door has no power. And you're probably taking a look at this gigantic thing right up here and thinking, well, what's that for? Well, that's for this. You see that little thing behind there? That little. A yellow circle. It's like a power conduit of sorts. You can hit it with the wave beam. You can hit it with the wave beam? Maybe I gotta scan it first. Oh, I gotta, oh it's Cordite, so I have to super missile it. That's right. Yeah, this is gonna be hard trying to... Considering I can't, like, lock on in midair, I have to try to super missile this with the... Yeah. Oh, wait. Gotta get the power beam. Duh. There we go. Now I can do this. Yeah, so we actually have to go and fight a boss in order to get the Spider Ball Guardian. And this big boy Thardis, who I don't particularly have a lot of problems with, but I know a lot of people do. Um, King K, for example, said that there's a lot of, uh, it's just that he's just a really long boss. He just said there's a really long boss, and a lot of the boss fights in this game just kind of drag on. Thardis being one of them. Which, I kind of agree with him, to a certain extent. But, this episode, depending on how long it takes to kill this guy, might actually take the whole episode to kill this guy. The funny part about this is that you can actually scan him before you get down here that cues the cutscene, and you can kind of tell that it's a boss, even though you can't actually tell. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm kind of just getting off of a cold. I started spring break with a cold, and I'm. This is Sunday, right before I have to go back to school. And I'm just now getting over the cold. So I might sniff a little bit. 
So my apologies for that, but this big guy is Thardis. The boss, the main boss of Fendrana Drifts. Let's go ahead and scan this monstrosity. An animated sentient creature of stone charged with the phazon radiation. The phazon radiation given off by Thardis negates auto-targeting systems preventing lock-on. It may be possible to acquire alternate targets with a different visor. Hint, hint. The chaotic nature of phazon irradi irradiation leads to instability in, this sh in its structural integrity. Thardis can encase targets in ice and its colossal size and strength make it a formidable opponent. Alrighty. Oh, that's right, I can't lock on. So, the goal here is that you're actually supposed to... Oh, come on, man. There we go. You're actually supposed to lock on to this guy. Using the thermal visor. So that you can find his weak point. And then once the thermal visor becomes overloaded... Uh-oh. Once the thermal visor becomes overloaded, you can switch back to your regular visor, combat visor, and target him that way, and finish him off. So you gotta do this a couple of different times, then it starts rolling around, shooting these boulders at you. It's just, the fight kinda drags on, I'm not gonna lie, it kinda does. Nope, thermal visor is, oh no, we can shoot him now. Ah. Yeah, that's when he freezes you. And now he's gonna roll into a ball. Ow. Oh. Yeah, this is why I don't boost ball when he does this, because I can't see his crap. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Got it. There we go. Super missile just makes this job really easy. Unfortunately, I'm kinda running low on missiles already, so. Yeah, super missiles use quite a bit of your missiles, unfortunately. Alright, big guy. What are we doing now? And now, I have no more missiles. So now, I just have to straight up charge beam this guy the rest of the fight. Could have acquired a couple other missiles if I could, but... Like missile expansions, but it works. Ow. Apparently, when this guy gets close, you can actually power bomb, or you can actually. I think I just did it right there. You can actually morph ball bomb the guy to deal damage to that thing. I don't know exactly if that's true. I feel like it is, because somebody was talking about it. I think it was, uh,. Johnny from Super Gaming Brothers. I, I, I want to say it was him. I can't remember though. Alright, there we go. Alright, what you gonna do now, big guy? You gonna cause a ruckus? I think so. Yeah, this is when he causes a blizzard. Which is extremely difficult to see in. So you kind of have to rely on your thermal visor. Uh, they fixed that in the Wii version, apparently, the trilogy version, so it's a little easier to see. But as long as you switch over to your thermal visor, you should be fine. I'll go ahead and morph ball. I'll try to do this morph ball thing. I think I just did it, actually. You can also dodge those rocks. Not a big deal. Oh, start us getting angry. Half dead already. Uh oh. Ah! Saw that one coming. Should probably have my thermal visor on. Alrighty, big guy. This one's a little easier to. Ah! Alright, this one's a little easier to hit. A little bit more visible. Alright, let's do this thing again. I didn't see it. Maybe. Break 
these things this, this time. Oh, hey, I got super missing out. Oh, I hit him. Perfect. Yeah, he drops missiles periodically if you break those boulders. So it kind of makes it a little easier to kill him. He's about two thirds down. Give me missiles, boy. No, I'm not gonna do it. Ah, man. I don't realize when he's what he's doing half the time. I feel like he's gonna do one thing and he does another. No. Ah. All right. Luckily, I still have four full energy tanks, so his damages, his da or his hits don't do too much damage. Give up yet, Thardis? Alright, now the earthquake, or not the earthquake, the blizzard goes away. Get some of health. What's he doing now? Nope, Blitzball, or the Morph Ball Bombs do not actually force him to get out of this rolling form. Give me some missiles, give me some missiles, ah! Give me some missiles, I need missiles. Alright, some missiles. Boom, boy! Oh, that didn't destroy him. Okay. Ah, I walked right into that one. Now, that, ladies and gentlemen, was the Thardis fight. Not that bad, I mean, I can, I can see why King K says it drags on a little too long, but considering you're pretty much just doing the same thing over and over again, but that's not too bad. So now we get the spider ball. To collect this health and missiles. No, oh, I can't bring that in this way. All right. Now we get a cool look, upgrade look to the spider boss or to the morph boss. So now it kind of looks like a yo-yo. Yay! <laughs> Alrighty. So now you remember these magnetic rails that you see right in front of me. Yep, we can actually use those now to uh, climb up places and go places. <laughs> uh, let's see, can't go over there yet. I think we gotta go there. So let's go do that. Whoops. There we go. Oops. This way. <laughs> Metroid Prime 2 does something really cool with the morph ball or the spider ball in that game. Is that you can actually like boost ball across like platforms to get from like one side of a track to another instead of just morph ball bombing like we have been. Which is pretty cool to be honest with you. So swing by you here. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, do we need to go up? No, we can't. Okay, so this is the Magmore Caverns. Alrighty. Heading back to Magmore Caverns to do some more backtracking. My favorite. Now, I believe, is when we go to get the Ice Beam. We have a little bit of missile expansion, hunting, and, uh, is this a save station? Yeah, it is. I don't need it right now. I'll save later. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit of missile expansion and energy tank hunting in, uh, 
Ow. Chose our ruins before we do anything overly important. Take care of those guys. Gotta do a little puzzle in here for what I believe is an energy tank. Uh, where do we start? I think we start here. Okay, there is just one over here. Is that the, is that it? Okay. No, oh, one more. There we go. Cue the goofy puzzle music. Even though it's not much of a puzzle. Down here we go. Gotta deal with these goofy roly poly dudes. There we go. Not too bad. Let's go this way first. Scan this little guy. Oh yeah, before I forget guys, I actually am going to start working on a Legend of Zelda Wind Waker series. Um, at the time of this recording, I probably don't have it out yet. Or, at the t <laughs> Obviously, I don't have it out, but... At the time of this recording, I don't have the video even recorded yet. But by the time that I probably upload this video, I'm probably gonna have quite a few episodes in this series uploaded. So if you guys wanna go and check that out, I'd really appreciate it. Wind Waker was always one of my favorite games as a kid. I have not played Wind Waker in probably 10 plus years. Like, no joke. So, I, there's an energy tank. Yeah, so I've played Wind Waker in probably 10 plus years. Um, I'm 18. <laughs> that means I have not played until I was about 8. Uh, I had so many memories of that game as a kid though, man. I used to play it with my dad. We used to take turns playing Wind Waker. And, uh, I believe I gotta go this way. Yeah. We used to take turns playing it. And, uh, we didn't know how to do one part of, like, a dungeon or something, so we had to ask, um, some guy down at GameSpot, or GameStop, excuse me. Like, what to do about that certain, uh, spot in the dungeon. Obviously, we were stupid. My dad wasn't much of her, you know, video games, and he doesn't know too much about them and whatnot. So we thought going and asking the guys down at GameStop how to do it, he thought that was a smart idea. Which, technically, it did kind of work for what we were trying to accomplish. Uh... We, he, the guy down at GameStop sent us to, uh, GameFacts.com back when it, back when we had dial-up internet way back in probably like 2008. And, uh, yeah, so we had to actually, like, download, like, a notepad, like, type of file. Wow, not what I meant. In order to like figure out how to do it, it was it was really weird. Let's go ahead and get this thing down. But yeah, I have so many memories of Wind Waker. Used to get the Game Boy out and used to play with Tinkle. Yeah, memories, man. Childhood memories. Miss childhood. I think we all do. Why do we? Ugh. Okay. Uh. I don't know if this is where I need to go, but I'm going to do it anyway. I know I have to go to Chozo Ruins, but there's a number of ways you can actually get there. I'm just going to try this, see if it works. I appreciate it if you puffers would go away too, you're kind of just getting in my way. 
I gotta do it on that side, don't I? Yeah. Give me the missiles, boy. There we go. Roll underneath you guys. Yep, this is the way I gotta go. So I remember this goofy morph ball track. I also plan on, uh, is this the town of Overworld? Yeah, this is the town. I need to go to Chozo Ruins though, so I'm gonna keep going, see if I can find a safe station. I actually plan on starting up a Pokemon series too. I'm thinking I'm thinking Pokemon Emerald. But Ah. The idea that I had for deciding which game that I was gonna do. I was gonna pull Reddit. Um the subreddit Pokemon. Makes sense, right? And I was gonna ask them. What their favorite region was, and who their favorite starter Pokemon was. And depending on the answer that they gave me, I was going to play that game in that, um, for that specific region. So like, for example, if the most popular answer was, say, uh, Pokemon Emerald, and their favorite, uh, starter Pokemon was, like, Torchic. I was gonna do a Pokemon Emerald, or excuse me, <laughs> their favorite region was the Hoenn region. I'd play the Pokemon Emerald game, because it's just the easiest. And the best, in my opinion, considering, well, you know, anyway. Um, ow, you are a jerk, you know that, dude. Anyway, um, and considering I'm not going to be playing on a Nintendo 3DS, considering A, I don't have a Nintendo 3DS, and B, the emulators for it, I don't believe support some of the newer Pokemon games, uh, I was going to play on the Game Boy, like a Virtual Boy emulator, and play like Pokemon Emerald, depending on what their favorite region was. So, say it was Kanto, and their favorite starter was um, Charmander. I'd play Charmander, and I'd play it probably on either Pokemon Leaf Green or Fire Red. And take a look at that. That was a flying space pirate. And guess what? Because they put the space... Oh, oh wait. Because they put the space pirate in, it took out the defense turret. What do I prefer, the space pirates or the defense turrets? Definitely the space pirates. Those guys were a pain in the butt to say the least. I did not like those defense turrets one bit. Excuse me. So if you're on Reddit and you're on the Pokemon subreddit, keep an eye out for a poll. I, uh, I'm probably going to be posting it today. Um, which is... Uh, what day is it actually? It is April 8th, so I'll probably be, probably be posting it today, April 8th. I have to find the time between recordings to post it. But keep an eye out for that. I'll have that poll up. You guys tell me what your favorite uh, Pokemon game was, or your Pokemon region, and your favorite Pokemon starter. And based on the most popular answer, I will go ahead and I will start making a playthrough on that. So yeah, keep an eye out for that, guys. I think you'll I think you'll like it. I'm actually gonna grab this missile expansion while I'm here. I'm gonna find the entrance to it though. I can never find it. Who knows? The uh, Pokemon 
uh, video might actually already be up. Actually, why am I, yeah, that's a good point. Why am I asking you to keep an eye out for the poll if you're not even going to see the poll because I'm posting it today, April 8th, and probably not going to release this video until later. I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm not smart. But yeah, keep an eye out for the, not the video, not the video. Keep an eye out, don't drag me all the way back, please. Okay, good. Keep an eye out for the, if I have an episode, keep an eye out for the episode. It'll be around. I don't know where this missile expansion is. It's not in here, it's just the way I came in. Is it? I can't tell. No, I haven't been through this door. Maybe it's not a missile expansion, maybe it's just... Oh, uh, I know what it is. It's a missile expansion on the other side of this door in this room. That's right. Yep. I'm an idiot. Alrighty. Now... To trek back to Chozo Ruins. We're not going to enter Chozo Ruins. I'm going to save at that save station right outside of Chozo Ruins. Because this video is already really long. It's According to my timer, it's already 25 minutes long. So I'll save you guys the agony. And just save outside of Chozo Ruins and be done. Got a little bit of backtracking left to do, and I might get one more thing. I believe the Chozo Artifact before I get done in here. So this video, unfortunately, is going to be exceptionally long. I apologize for that. I don't think you guys mind, though. Some of these videos might be a little long. You never know. I know a final boss fight is going to be a long video. There's only one save station in the entire thing. And there's two bosses, and each one is quite long. Is it this room? I don't think so. Ah! No, it's the next room, I believe. I'm like 90% sure. Why, every time when I go to hit the scan visor, is it send me over to the thermal visor? That's not what I want. Alright, it's in this room. Get rid of these puffers really quick. What's over there? Oh, it's... Wait. Oh, it's... Never mind. Man, am I, I'm having a brain fart kind of a day. Okay, let's blow you up. Why didn't you blow up? There we go. This is their second Chozo artifact, and I believe the last here in Magmore Caverns, and that dragon just shot fire at me and completely missed because I was invulnerable. That's kind of funny. <laughs> The 8th of 12. I like how it's the 8th, yet technically it was the second one that I've acquired. Like, how does that work? Okay, where is it? Ah! No! Get over there. Nah! Oh, sad. Cross this little platform real quick. And there we go. Incoming scan data. Regional climate analysis complete. Abnormally low temperatures at ruins site. Well, my good friend, that's where I'm kind of going. That was weird. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today we defeated Thardis, acquired a Chozo artifact, and I believe two missile expansions. In the next episode, we are going to go and conquer the Ice Beam. And get that Ice Beam, then I believe I'm going to have to look up what I have to do next. So I'm, I'm not even going to say what I think it's going to be, because I don't want to have another nope.avi in my video. So, as for the video at hand, ladies and gentlemen, please leave a like, please comment, and please subscribe. And we will talk to you in the next episode. Take care.